Let's head to the United States. Former President Donald Trump is really taking the gloves off in his race against his main contender, Ron DeSantis. We'll talk about that. But also, we'll talk about this, uh, Roe versus Wade. Joining me live is Jason Meister, political strategist and, and advisory board member of Donald Trump for president. Uh, you've just seen that story, and, and both sides of politics are using that story. Uh, tell me more from your perspective. Sure, and thanks for having me. Uh, if you really think about it, I think really what's happening is it's the Democrats that have been very radical on that specific issue. Uh, if you talk to some of the Democrats or even look at some of the policies that they've been pushing, they're talking about abortion even after a baby is born. Um, that's a very radical position in America. I think what uh, every Republican is talking about is limiting abortion uh, before 15 weeks, which is a very reasonable and rational way to approach uh, this issue, which I don't think is a black or white issue. I think it's an issue that uh, needs to be fought out properly and dealt with properly. Now, Donald Trump, of course, has really gotten on the front foot against Ron DeSantis this week. Yeah, look, Donald Trump is trouncing every other not, uh, potential candidate running for 2024. He's trouncing Ron DeSantis. He's, I mean, everyone else is in the is single digits. Ron DeSantis is in the, in the high teens. President Trump has got a 35 to 45 point lead on his second uh, second rival. So I, I think he's going to be the nominee. I think that's very obvious. And the more uh, the Democrats come after him with indictments, impeachments, ar arrests, raids on his private residence, it only creates jet fuel, politically speaking. And you'll see his polls continue to climb even higher. Yeah, there's no doubt he's been getting a sugar hit every time it happens. But uh, there's a certain amount of legit legitimacy to some of these, and he could be in some trouble. No, there really is no legitimacy to any of the uh, legal things that he's fighting right now uh, in New York, in Georgia, uh, or in D.C. So you uh, honestly, Florida, you honestly sorry to interrupt, but you honestly believe, you honestly believe, as you're talking to me now, that there's, there's no legitimacy to any of it? There's none. And, and actually, there's a history of this. The Russia collusion hoax was completely debunked. It was paid for by Hillary Clinton. Impeachment one was at a, about a phone call, a perfect phone call with President Zelensky. And we now know that uh, President Trump is trying to um, expose the corruption between Joe Biden and Ukraine. And we're now sending billions and billions of dollars over there. So I think that this is a continuation of all those hoaxes. And, and this the Presidential Records Act protects the president to have those records. And he's now in a dispute over paperwork with Joe Biden's librarians. Meanwhile, it was released yesterday by a whistleblower that Hunter Biden and Joe Biden were extorting, bribing, mm. and uh, committing treason. And so I don't even know if Joe Biden will be the Democrats nominee in 2024, given all the uh, criminality that he's facing right now. Yeah, look, and I know that your stance is going to be your stance because you're a massive Trump supporter and, and work in that space. So, look, we'll, we'll no, agree no, to disagree. I'm here as an American. Yeah, we'll agree to disagree on some of it because we have to. But um, what about Will Hurd joining the race? Yeah, look, I think the more candidates uh, put their foot in this race, it only splinters the anti-Trump vote, which only gives the president a, a further lead. Uh, Chris Christie heard uh, this is just helping Donald Trump and I think you'll see that play out as this uh, race continues to go forward. A lot of talk this week uh, with India and the United States. How important is the relationship with the US and India as we saw from the Indian leader, the two greatest democracies in the world? Look, India is a very important relationship for the US. Uh, you saw when President Trump was in office, he, he and Modi had a very special relationship. When he went to India, he had an unbelievable turnout and support from, from those people. And I think that you'll continue to see that going forward. What's your insight into the current economic situation in the US? Look, we're faced with the, the highest inflation in over 40 years. Uh, unemployment is, is, is skyrocketing. Uh, look, this president has, been, has taken a wrecking ball to our economy. Um, he, he's talking about the, the wealthy having to pay their fair share. Meanwhile, it came out today, uh, just before I came on with you, that Hunter Biden was taking deductions uh, on, on prostitutes. And so this president, 
continues to push this type of rhetoric. Meanwhile, the American people can't even afford groceries or putting gas in their car to get to work. Uh, that's why I also think President Trump is going to uh, win this nomination and ultimately the general election, because it wasn't so far away that re Americans remember having the best unemployment in American history that for black Americans, for Chinese Americans, for white Americans, for every American. And I think that you'll see that going forward as well. Political strategist and Trump advisor, Jason Meister, thank you.